Hey guys, what's going on? And today we are going to be doing a tier list of the total drama seasons. Many of you will probably know um, this channel is a wide variety of things, and I just thought I'd make this video because why the heck not? But I'm gonna review all the total drama, whatever seasons there is. I love total drama as a kid. I still love it. I watch it like every so often because it's just such a good, such a good show, I guess. And I'm a big fan of it. But some of the seasons, <laughs> total drama daycare or whatever heck it's called, um, drama rama are just not good. So we're gonna be ranking them today from hate, dislike, neutral, like, and love. Okay, so I'm gonna go worst the best and talk about why I like them and then talk about why I don't like them or why they're all right so I don't even consider this one to even be on my list I won't even consider it to even be a total drama season total drama rama as it's called is not an official total drama season it's a spin-off I don't even know why this is on here but I'll sum it up I've watched a couple episodes I'd say five or six it just didn't catch my attention. It's basically like a Teen Titans Go. It's basically like a Looney Tunes spinoff. It's not competitive. The whole Total Drama universe are based off of teenagers. And they're based off of competitive challenges and all that good stuff. Total Drama Rama is not. Total Drama Rama is basically all the Total Drama characters. Or most of them. Like the, from the OG past. And they're put into like a daycare and they just kind of screw around and it's just really stupid. I don't like it at all. Like maybe once in a blue moon there's a good episode or a decent episode or they bring back a cameo. That's actually like something cool. Like you see like someone else like from that's like in the total drama universe that's older and stuff like that. So I don't know and it's just something like that. Um, I just don't like it. There doesn't be there doesn't isn't much to be said. I hate this show. It's not official. So yes. Okay, so I guess I'll go from I guess least to best. Or I could go from the first to the last. Uh, okay. So I'm actually gonna put next um Packet Two E Island or Packet Two Island. Total Drama Packet Two E Island was the sixth installment of the Total Drama series. And it features Chris, Chef, and a whole brand new cast. Now, if you don't know what Total Drama Packet 2 Island, like, is or was, and you kind of just remember, like, the first three seasons. Um, so, basically, this is the third time in the franchise that they have a new cast. And I, I didn't dig this. I did not like this season at all. It was so short. It felt rushed. It felt bad. It felt horrible. There's probably three characters in this season that I actually like. And those being like Sky, Jasmine, um, Sean, and that's about it. Everybody else was annoying. Even Chris. Chris was annoying. So I'll talk about Chris in the future, like a future episode of his downfall and like his ability to not be good anymore i don't know if that makes any sense so basically total drama packet 2 island they return to the island there it's another island but this island this time is mechanic they find out halfway through the season this is mechanic and it's all like electronical so it's controlled by chris and basically he the show this season was just really boring it had a lot of crappy crappy writing the characters are very poor and Chris himself was just really bad challenges were kind of weak there was maybe one episode that was decent I didn't like the characters for the most part and Chris wanted to have them like die he like there's a couple episodes that he didn't really liked like them like he was like eh I'm the host yeah but I'm just doing this for the money so these characters can, can, you know, these guys can die. I don't really care. Like, he almost killed them. He's, there's one episode that um, one of the characters go crazy, uh, Scarlet Fever, if you ever watched that. It's a really good episode to do that. And it's just horrible. Like, it's absolutely horrible. Um, I didn't like the season at all. I felt like the final was pretty poor. 
and the characters are pretty poor overall. Definitely dislike. Okay, so then I would probably have to go with the Total Drama Presents Red Donkey's Race. So this one isn't really an official Total Drama series. It is, but it's not. Like, it is in the same Total Drama universe, but it's not with the same host. So Chris McLean does not get picked up for another season with Total Drama. It's a guy named Don now. I didn't hate him, but I didn't love him. He was mediocre. He had some funny moments, but... So basically, this is kind of a mixture of Survivor, the TV show, and Amazing Race, and a mixture of Total Drama. So every week, you would have... Instead of, like, one person be two, and they would do crazy challenges, and they would go to the finish line, whoever doesn't make their last, doesn't make it last, there wins. So, there's, there's a lot of ups and downs to this, um, season. The pros, for sure, they brought back some good characters. They brought back Noah and Owen as a team, and I love their story arc. I loved how, um, Noah kind of got his, found his love, he kind of got his... Um, game going, and he was just really solid, and then Owen, like, he's back, who doesn't love seeing Owen, this is kind of a spinoff, like, this happened in 2015, so this is kind of a spinoff to the Total Drama series, because you haven't seen these characters, so the last Total Drama that actually aired with, like, Noah and Owen was World Tour, and that aired in 2010, I believe, so about five years later, seeing these characters kind of made me happy, and you also got Jeff, which was just a great character, with Brody, which he kind of, like, talked about in the past, and kind of, like, back- few like pre uh uh total drama episodes that were like in the past he talked about him as his dude brody and they actually won which was kind of cool and you just had a lot of good characters uh some of it was pretty poor but you had a lot of good characters like sanders MacArthur were good uh jacques and jose or whatever were really good characters and there's a lot more that i really did enjoy kitty and i'm uh, like the ones that are in the finals were really really good and they also brought back um I think that's it from the original cast. They had Leonard, which was from Pakatoe Island. But I believe that is it from the original cast, which I kind of wish they would have brought, like, Chris and Chef to do, like, a redonkulous race. But basically, it was the same thing, kind of same format as Total Drama. I don't hate it. I definitely do like it more now because it did offer a very long season. It was pretty long compared to the last two, three seasons we got. I'll talk about that in a second. Um, the cons were... It wasn't total drama based. Like there, there was just too many people to be focusing on a bunch of stuff. Like in the beginning, it's kind of bad, not gonna lie. But once it gets like middle to the end, it gets really good. So honestly, I don't hate this one, but I don't really like it as much as the other one. The total drama Redonkulous race does rank in like a C tier for me. All right, then I would have to go with total drama All Stars. So total drama All Stars, um is the fifth installment of the total drama series it goes in between it's like the fifth season so it came out in 2013 the year before Pakatui Island and basically this season there's a lot wrong with it but there's a lot good with it too I don't like it at first because it's short it, I don't, and, and then I don't like it because some of the characters are completely opposite of what they are. So as example, Alejandro and Duncan. Duncan is an OG character. He's been in every single season. Um, one, two, three. The original cast, one, two, three, and five. So basically this season, this um, total drama was a mixture of the season four cast and the original cast, which was from season one, two, and three. And basically we kind of got these all these guys kind of together. And it was cool to see. That's the only pro I really see in this. It was cool to see all these guys together and interact. Because some of them were really cool. But I didn't like how Duncan became a softy. Like, you're really going to be doing my man Duncan like that. He's one of my favorite characters of all time in this show. And they've made him a softy. Like, that's just bad. He should have went out and, like, done something. He did do something pretty evil. Which was I, I thought was pretty funny in the end. If you guys don't know. He, like, burned Chris's... Uh, mansion or island or something like that it was very funny um but i didn't like him and this i didn't really like heather wasn't really is evil she kind of just was obsessed with alejandro alejandro was just stupid in this they just made him stupid and after he went off in world tour and completely manipulated all most of all of the females in world tour so i don't get how he was just 
the writers just made him stupid in this. I don't get that. And Owen wasn't even in this. He's a freaking all-star. Owen won the season one, and he's not even in this. But the finale wasn't that good because it was Zoe and Mike. The only dude thing I did like was obviously Mike's multiple personalities. If you did watch in season four, were really good. It get, it got like a whole new level in season five, and I really did like that. Was my favorite part in this was Mike's personalities. But they brought in like Sam. Sam's not an all-star, bro. Bringing in these brick, at least someone else to take his place. I, I don't get that. And they they screwed over Lindsay a little. She didn't really have much screen time. Uh, I wasn't a fan of Courtney in this one. Like I kind of was in the first two seasons. I like Courtney, but I didn't really like her in this. But some of the characters were just really off. And the execution was bad because, again, Chris kind of acted insane in this. He acted insane. He didn't really act the way he did in the first four seasons. And I didn't really like him in this one either, Chris the host. Um, there was a lot of problems. Again, he just didn't really care about these guys anymore. He was like, let's do challenges, and then this was it. But I did like kind of all coming together how they were like friends, um the new cast and old cast, and I did really enjoy that. And there's some good episodes in this, but it was very poor. Okay, so next one I would put is Total Drama Revenge of the Island. So this is the fourth installment of the series, or fourth season of the series. This was in 2011, so, or 2012. They took a break in 2011, and I really don't think the writers of Fresh TV should have took a break because they were going so well with this, and then it kind of dipped. It, it dipped a little with Revenge of the Island, but not really. So Total Drama Revenge of the Island was a consistency of new cast. They wanted to bring in a whole new cast, and I really did enjoy this cast. Mike, Zoe, Lightning, um, Cam, like, even Joe was good. Um, you know, that, I, the guys in the end were really good. I mean, this guy was alright. I mean, he kind of was stupid, but, but my, it's Mike's personalities were just, Mike's one of my favorite characters, and they really did him good with this. But this season, instead of, like, the other Total Drama seasons, if you're obviously watching this video, they made it all a toxic waste dump, and I really didn't like that because it just felt kind of off. Like, you're having mutant creatures. Like, Total Drama, it's not supposed to be, like, made-up stuff. Like, it was first based off of, like, actual teenagers during the summer camp competing, and now it kind of shifted a little. I still like it because there's some really good episodes with, you know, Scott and Mike. Like, he blackmailed him and stuff like that. Uh, the final episode, I think, is one of the really greatest um, finales we got with Lightning and Cam um, in the how they compete in kind of this showdown. I really do like that. But, again, Chris kind of is a little not that great in this one. But there is a lot of tension in this one. Like, it's always, you're always on your feet. Compared to the other ones, eh, especially back into Island, why it's in the dislike, I don't really care about it. But this one was pretty solid. I have to say, there's nothing really more about that. Only thing I maybe would have done is, again, just make it a little longer so the story would have played out a little better. But beside that, it is what it is. Okay, so the next one, we have the OG3 Island Action World Tour. So I'm going to actually put action next, and I love it. <laughs> So Total Drama Reaction was the second season, came out in 2008. It was amazing. So this season was based off of movies. So the first Total Drama Island series was, like, it was a successor. The action was a successor to Island. And action kind of featured, it didn't have that many guys. Um, you know, it had, like, Trent, Duncan... Gwen, Jeff, Bridget, Izzy, Owen, but it was based off movies, and these movies were really cool to see. It was like a movie set that was just up front. Um, the stuff I didn't really like about it, I don't hate much about it, but again, it was just short, and that's really about it. Some of the characters kind of dropped off a little, but then you saw kind of characters like Justin, who we saw on Island, that had a pretty strategic gameplay and almost actually got, he got pretty far. But Duncan did win this in the U.S. Um, I thought it was a pretty good finale. It was decent when they um, raced to the finish with Beth. Beth shouldn't have been in there. I think it should have been someone else, like maybe Courtney or something like that. Courtney definitely got screwed over, but then she came back. I don't, you know, the whole thing with that. And I thought it was really cool because you got to see, like, drama in this. There's a lot of drama in this season with um, like Oshana, um, Duncan, um, you know, like... All those people with, like, drama. 
Trent, like, and Gwen, the whole lad thing, like, relationships, that's the thing, you didn't really see relationships, and I don't know, that's kind of a cool thing that I like to see, is build those relationships, Redonkulous Race, yes, did have some, All-Stars, barely anything, Pakatu Island, one, Revenge of the Island, one, in action, you got to see some of them, and that's where it kind of, like, falls into play, like, it just doesn't beat out these other two that are really good, again, they're based off movies, and I love them, they do it really well, I love the, kind of, the, the ceremony at the end with the golden chefs and the movie theme, how they got right off in a limo. I think it was pretty dramatic. All right, the next thing I'm going to do, people are going to hate me for this, but I'm going to put Island next. Yes, Island's the OG. Yes, Island is where it began. But, you got to understand, there's a better one out there, and I'll tell you why. So, Total Drama Island was amazing. It was the first time... I saw this show. I fell in love with it. So basically, you get a group of teenagers. They compete for challenges for $100,000. The winner gets the money. And these challenges were crazy. And all these campers. And just to see all these characters. That's why. Because there's so much characters. And how they just drew them all. It was just amazing how good this show was. So good at times. The challenges were, were so creative, bro. They were so they were so creative with what they do. And I loved I loved, I loved, I loved um, watching every single second of it. Like, you didn't know who was going to get voted off. And it was just kind of reminded me of just kind of my friends and um, what I used to do with a bunch of stuff back in the day and hanging out with people and, like, doing challenges. We really used to do that stuff. It was just kind of fun. And this was the OG thing to kind of start us all off. You know, we got Heather, the mean girl. Then you got Duncan, the bully. Then you got Owen, kind of like the fat guy that just likes everything that's just super nice but he's just there to be funny and stupid and he actually wins it which is just kind of funny but there's just a lot of good stuff there's a lot of good episodes like i i really recommend like everybody can probably say if they know total drama it's probably these two seasons that they probably know the most maybe this one they probably don't know these is this is the original one and they know it they know it by heart they know who these characters are even if you didn't watch it all these seasons you definitely know this one and that's why it's just so og because all of these guys are amazing characters and some of these challenges and some of the episodes are just really well written um the triple dog dare you want heather gets her face or hair shaved off which is just she deserves it so much and you just like are so satisfied with everything the outcomes and i feel like it's just a great show i can talk about it all day but number one total drama real tour i'll tell you why so World Tour came out 2010. Okay. I first I was like, okay, you know, they're all on a plane. So we get some characters. So Island in Action, you get some characters you haven't seen yet. Noah's Noah. Um what's his uh Ezekiel. Like he he becomes crazy. You really see those people shine uh more. You see Tyler. Tyler like, a guy from Total Drama Island that didn't do anything, kind of get developed a little more. Alejandro and Heather are just so good in this series. Duncan's even greater. Owen makes it solid. And Cody. Cody! Another one that we see that didn't really get far in this one. He wasn't in... All these are in action, but they're in Island. And they come back at World Tour. Just along with Alejandro. He's just so manipulative. And so basically they travel all around the world. They go all over the place, and every kind of one is different. So unlike these two, this is just on the island the whole time. It was just summer camp, and this was just kind of an action theme, but they kind of just made different themes around it. But this one, they took it to the next level, and their budget was great with this. Every single place was different. So we got to see New York City. We got to see China. We got to see the Niagara Falls. We got to see Africa. We got to see... Um, there's so Australia. There's so many more. I can name them all by heart and know who all got eliminated in these three seasons. I'm kind of iffy on these, but I can take a wild guess. I know all episodes by heart and the songs. So usually I'm not a big song person when it comes to like music and everything like that in shows. I find it kind of cringy, but these are just so well done, so well thought, like so well thought out, and the songs are really good and catchy, and I really do like listening to them sometimes, and they just share such a great story, and the songs just really make it for me, because how good they sing and how good they execute it is just so well with Total Drama World Tour, it just blows my mind, dude, like it absolutely blows my mind how good this show honestly was, 
at the time and the ratings were going skyrocketing it was going skyrocketing at the time and i just don't really know why they stopped it um and then came it came back that was kind of their mistake and they kind of produced like this stuff which was kind of garbage um yeah you know they produced some decent stuff but then it's garbage so honestly that's why i love world tour because you got to kind of go all over the world and kind of like it was like an animated show with my favorite characters from total drama and they got to go all over the world sing cool songs and have the drama part of it which was just so well written i give it seriously a 10 out of 10 in my book of how well it executed uh, at the end the only downfall is Sierra and Cody and Alejandro and Heather did kind of get old after a while because it was the same old stuff and especially the Cody and Sierra plot it didn't really advance it was kind of just the same thing um some episodes get a little stale around the end but then it gets picks up and becomes pretty solid like at the end isn't the greatest um ending what is a good ending sorry the whole volcano thing and um this was the last time they used like the original cast of the first three and then they switched but yeah, that's it. Thanks, guys, for uh, joining and listening to this. I don't know if I'm going to upload it to YouTube or not, but if I do, then cool. I just feel like that this is my order of how these guys get ranked. And I really love these seasons. I hope one day Fresh TV, or whoever makes it now, can see that there's fans that out there that want these to come back. Just one more time. They should have a Total Drama Ultimate or something like that, like... To make all these characters, the best characters, come back for one more time and then call it quits and I'd be fine with it. Anyways, guys, this has been truly awesome to do this tier list maker and I'll see you all next time. See ya.